Glutenberg is getting better day by day, but to replace page builders like Elementor or Divi, it got a long way to go. But we can still create some amazing looking website by just using Glutenberg blocks. Thanks to the free plugins that are available these days, we can still create some amazing looking website by just using Glutenberg editor. And today we're going to take a look at one of these plugins, which is offering a great range of free Glutenberg blocks. So let's see what all options we have in this. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we create videos related to WordPress, social media marketing and everything that can simplify your online business. So to watch more videos like this then make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright, so in this video we are going to take a look at Get Vid plugin by ModoPress and we will see what all options are available. On their website it says 40 plus blocks which is really promising and that's all for free of cost. So if we scroll down and check what all options we have, so we have some sections, advanced headings, Google Maps and basically almost all the elements you need to create some amazing looking website for your business. So let's try it out and see what all options we have. So I'm really interested in blocks like video pop-up and image hotspot. So let's try it out. So we are in our WordPress dashboard. We only have Cadence theme and in the plugin section we have nothing installed right now so let's go ahead and add get with plugin so we search for get with and let's click on install and then we will click on activate all right so now we have the plugin installed let's go ahead and check the settings so here we have an option to load css and javascript on demand so that we don't bombard our website with all the css and js from the plugin so let's put all the css in the header block we have an option for Instagram token just in case you are using Instagram block and various other API keys options. So let's go ahead and click on save. All right. So in the next in the next tab, we have appearance. So we will leave it as it is. In the next tab, we have blocks. So right now, total 38 blocks are active with this plugin. Right now we have zero disabled, so let's keep all of them on. So let's keep all of them on and see how it works. So in the next section we have post template. So let's leave it right now. So let's go ahead and jump on to a page editor and see what all options available. So we click on this edit option here. All right, so now we are in the page editor and on the very top we have template library from get with plugin. So if we click on that, here we have some various pre-made template for us. So if you're not a designer and still wondering how I should design my website, so here is the solution. You have some pretty nice templates already done for you and you can just import them on your website and get started. So for example, here is a hero section. We have the big giant image with the heading and a call to action button, which looks pretty nice. And let's go ahead and import this one. We have a section on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have a video so let's go ahead and import that all right and and if you just mouse over on the top of this section we have a padding option and above that if we mouse over we can see the margin option as well it looks pretty much similar to what we have in cadence blocks but i really like they have highlighted both of them in different colors which is really nice effort here so let's go ahead and increase margin a bit so you can see that the orange color is showing how much margin it's getting here. If you want, you can go ahead and increase or decrease padding. Same goes with the bottom. You can increase or decrease the padding here as well as the margin. So we have a heading here which is coming from the advanced heading from GetWid plugin. Below that, we have some, we have a normal paragraph here and below that we have a call to action button. And I'm very much interested in this right hand side section where we have a video and in the front end it should open up a pop up and a video will be played. So we will check that in a minute. So once we click on that we have the URL for the video and on the right hand side in settings we can see that we can enter YouTube, Vimeo and self hosted video which is very nice. And below that we have an option for button animation. So let's go ahead and check this out. So if we select the pulse we have this pulse animation going on with the button and below that we have the image animation as well so if we click on zoom out so on mouse over it zooms out 
So that's pretty nice. And we can update the cover image for this video. So let's go ahead and click on update and see how it looks in the front end. Alright, let's refresh the page. Alright, so on the left hand side we have our text and the button and on the right hand side we have the call to action for video and we have this pulse animation button and the zoom out effect on the image and if you click on that here is the pop-up for video and i really like this option so let's go ahead and try something else so if we go in the style section we can style our button here so if we choose the custom color let's say red so we can have a red color for the button and the icon color can be white so a lot of options that you can play around with you can also choose the overlay opacity here so that's pretty nice to have an option like this so it's pretty nice to have all these options for this single video element so let's click on update and this is how it will look in the front end so i'll definitely going to use that on my websites so let's go ahead and try something else and if we go down let's enter a section and here we have three options for the section i'll choose this one where the the section will be full width and the content will be fixed and once again it's pretty nicely designed let's go ahead and add some margin on both top top and bottom let's go ahead and try tabs from this plugin so right now we keep the tab number as three let's go ahead and create so this is the basic layout let's go ahead and rename that Right, so after renaming our tabs, let's go to tab 1 and just enter some sample content. Alright, so for the tab 1, we will have one paragraph. For tab 2, we will have two paragraphs. And for the tab 3, let's make 3, just to keep it a little bit different. And once again, we have the settings option here. And if you want, we can add more tabs from here or from here. We can add a tab before this and by this we can add a tab after this. And then we can move this newly added tab from left to right. And we can also duplicate the tab. For example, for this tab 3, if we choose this option, we have a copy of tab 3 here. So let's go ahead and delete this one. And let's go ahead and delete this one as well. And let's click on update. So this is the basic tab structure available with the plugin. So let's go back and try something else. Instead of tabs, let's go ahead and add some pricing table. So this time in the same section, let's go ahead and try something else. So if you scroll down on all the available blocks, we have all the get with blocks in one place, which is really nice. And now let's go ahead and try the image hotspot. So we'll click on this block and here let's go ahead and add an image from the library like this one all right so now we have the image ready and if we select this image we are getting an option to drop a pin so let's click on this and maybe i'll select this photo frame so in this pop-up let's go ahead and enter a title maybe photo frame and let's give it a dummy url open that in a new tab let's paste the dummy content and let's click on save all right so the drop point is here and the text is pretty long so once we click on this icon here we can see the options are available on the right hand side as well so from here we can update the text and all the settings all right so now we can also change the x coordinate for this point or we can simply just Select this and drag and drop on anywhere on this image. And we have an option for point background. So if we select the custom color, let's say we select red. And the icon color will be white. And let's say the tooltip position will be bottom. So here it's showing at the bottom. If you want, you can keep it on left or on right. And if you select the top, the tooltip will show on the top. So I will think I will select bottom. So it looks pretty much inside the image. 
All right, so pointer icon can update the pointer icon from the icon library. If you are using it for your e-commerce website, then you can select the Amazon or any maybe a card icon here. So I'll leave it as default. So let's go ahead and drop one more pin. So I will put it on this couch. Let's name it. And once again, dummy URL and the sample text here. All right, so let's click on save. This is a really interesting option. If you have an e-commerce website, you can use this block on your um, product page or maybe on the blog that you are writing. It will be really interesting to have a normal image and show all your products in that and then show these hot points where people can just mouse over and then go directly to the product page. So let's go ahead and update this page and see how it looks in the front end. All right, so we have the image here. So here are the drop points. And once we click on that, it opens up this tool tip or small pop-up. And we have the URL here. Once again, for this one, we have the pop-up here. And we have the link for our product page or maybe any URL. So I really like this video pop-up and the image hotspot option. So if you go back to library, we have all the various options available like image slider, the image slider with text and the normal image slider we have icon box like cadence blocks and there are various other plugins you can try it you can try on your website and it got really interesting options so let's try it out one more so we go ahead and check the price box so let's add another section and let's say we have fixed content here here we will add columns let's say three column layout and in the first one we will add price box so we will have price section one and then we will add maybe just a sample text here and once again we will enter the dummy content here a little bit long let's make it short all right, so below that we have the button option. Let's go ahead and enter buy now. And let's align this button to center. All right, so let's select this price box and copy. Here we just paste it again. And one more time in the third column. All right, so let's rename it to section two and then section three. And let's go ahead and change this price for the maybe the best seller plan or something like that. So maybe 108 or just to give a new number. And we will select this price box here. Let's go ahead and change the background color a bit. Just to make it a little bit highlighted. So let's go ahead and update the page. Let's refresh the front end. And and here is our pricing section. It looks pretty nice and it's good to see the, we can easily design a pricing table by just using a free Gutenberg block. I'm sure we can do some better job in designing by using different color combination to make it a little bit more catchy. But it's good to see that how many options are available with this plugin and you can surely go ahead and try it out. So I really like the options available with this plugin. I'm sure it's worth trying. And if you have used GetWid plugin for your website, then let me know in the comments below which is the block you like most. I like the video pop-up and the image hotspot option. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite one. If you have ever tried GetWid plugin, if you have not, then make sure you try it once. Of course, it's free and let me know what are your thoughts. And that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.